love y'all. <laughs> Guys, I know it's been a long time, but I'm finally back. I'm back home in the States. No more deployed, Aaliyah. I'm back, finally, and literally, everything has been in shambles. just talking to you guys while I drive um I got an hour 45 minutes before I even get to where I'm going let me start from the beginning okay touchdown from deployment at Baltimore um, International Baltimore Washington International and when I tell you guys it has been like you ever heard that saying that like if you want to hear God laugh then tell him what you got planned that's literally like the Lord really been like, you know, laying it out for me. You know what I mean? The way that it was originally supposed to be and not the way that I wanted it to be. So, so this is what happened. So I landed uh, in Baltimore at the end of January after my deployment. And we were supposed to, I, I don't know how far back or if I'm going to update you guys on literally every single little thing, but I guess I should. We were supposed to get back at like 9 a.m. We didn't get there until 12. We didn't get there until 12, guys. I had to check back into my base. My leadership really wasn't like, I don't want to talk too much about like my leadership because I'm I'm still in the military and you know what I mean? Like, you know, I just don't, I don't, anyway. So I had to be back at my base at 07.30 the next day. So we landed on Sunday. And I had to be there the next morning, pretty much. Even though you're authorized two days of travel. But we ended up not even getting, and now when I say we, I mean me and my mother. My mother helped me drive. So my car was in South, was in uh, Virginia. I didn't want my car to be sitting for six months. So I took my car to Virginia and my mom washed it and you know what I mean? Started it up and stuff while I was away. I ended up, Hazard reported ahead. My mom ended up coming to BWI picking me up, and we stopped by her house, grabbed some things like uh, her clothes and stuff. And I was gonna take a nap, but by the time we got back to her house, it was around like five o'clock. So we ended up just leaving straight to go back to South Carolina. And by the time we got to South Carolina, guys, it was literally one o'clock in the morning. Like needless today, like needless to say, I was exhausted. Like you can still see, like I mean, I've been having bags under my eyes since my deployment. So like at this point, it is what it is. But we end up um, getting to back to South Carolina at around one o'clock in the morning, and I had to be up at I probably got up around like six something, and had to be at the base at zero seven thirty to end process. So I end process and they were like, yeah, you're probably not gonna be able to start your r, &R until like Thursday or something. Now mind you, this is like a Monday. And that was not gonna work for me. Like there was no way that I was gonna be able to do Thursday. And the reason that I had to do Thursday or that they were saying that I would have to do Thursday is because you have to like turn your bags in and all of that stuff. Um, you have to turn like your equipment in that you took on deployment and you have to have an appointment for it usually. Well, now. And I also had to have like a reintegration brief. So like basically just, you know, giving you your resources and all that good stuff. Really what was supposed to be taking the longest was the equipment. So I needed to go over there anyway. So the counter, can you please take this? Because like, I'm really trying to like <laughs> go on my R&R. &R. So he ended up doing me a favor, you know what I mean? Big dog, you know, if I, <laughs> if I see you again, I'm sure I will. But like if I see him or if you're watching this, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you for helping me um so i end up um i want to say i finished on tuesday instead of getting done on thursday i got done on tuesday then i had to be in north carolina at one i ended up not being able to be there or two i wasn't able to be there because my, you know I had to have a, um, well I didn't know at the time that I needed to have a meeting with my leadership but they wanted to have their own like they wanted to lay eyes on me and make sure I was you know what I mean good and stuff 
and I didn't know that I had to see them as well. Well, I knew I had to see them, but like I didn't know that I needed to have like an appointment to see them. But that ended up pushing me back. I wasn't even able to get into the meeting with the commander until like one o'clock. That put me in uh, at, to getting to North Carolina around like three or four o'clock. So it was just like terrible, guys. Like it was just terrible. Literally nothing went as planned. And then when I got there, I had to pretty much find a hotel. I don't know why I thought that like, I don't know why I thought that I was gonna be able to get an apartment and then like move in the next day. But <laughs> you guys know that like, I'm like, this whole channel is about real estate. And um, I plan to, my I'm building my uh, network in Charlotte. It just didn't, I don't, I don't know why I, I was so like, naive about the application process for an apartment i guess because i lived in my own property for a while it was like okay like you know but anyway that's besides the point so i end up not even getting my place i'm still not in my place if you guys see all that stuff back there it's literally because i'm like i don't want to say i'm home because I'm not homeless. Like, that would be, like, extremely, like... It would be borderline, like, girl, ungrateful. Because I've been... Pretty much, I've been in Virginia. Been down here. I've been in Virginia, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. Like, I've been literally in between all of these states. While I'm on my leave and my R&R &R and all that good stuff. Like, But I'm still not in my own place yet. Because the apartment that I'm moving into isn't ready. It's not going to be ready until tomorrow, which is the 16th. And guys, when I tell you, like, I'm literally so tired, like, it's not even funny. Right now, I'm on my way to Charlotte to go meet with my broker. I think he just wants to see me, wants to lay eyes on me, um, make sure I'm good and stuff. So, nothing too serious, nothing too deep and things. He did tell me that I could come casual, but y'all know i'm not finna go casual i'm finna show my best you know what i mean as far as like me like my emotional state my mental state i've been like i feel like i'm just like floating i haven't really been able to really settle down and think you know not even think like not think so <laughs> i've kind of just been on go i've been on go ever since i landed so for about like two weeks police reported ahead for about two weeks, I've been just back and forth, and I wanted to record for you guys. I ended up getting, I know I'm going to be commuting back and forth um, for work, and I'm going to be driving a lot for work, so I'm still in the military, though. I'm still in the military, so don't forget that. Um, I will be driving. My drive is a little longer now, so I bought this mount so that when I'm driving, I can talk to you guys and make sure that I post content. Um, <laughs> so you guys are literally going through this entire process with me. Like, I'm pretty much living out of my car right now because that's literally what I'm doing. They have to, I'm gonna be moving all of my stuff in tomorrow into the apartment. So I'll probably go ahead and record that process as well. My, I had to buy me like a new bedroom set and I kind of got like everything else. If I need to get other stuff, then I'm just gonna get it. Like, I gotta see what I have. <sighs> Memory has been terrible too. I don't know if that has like associated with like deployment related stuff or what it is, but like I literally cannot remember. And I feel so fragile, like, I don't know. But y'all, I'm, I, my, uh, what is it called? DTS, ETS, whatever it's called. <laughs> when you're supposed to get out of the military, Technically, my date is the 15th of November, but I'm taking care of all of my separation stuff now. I have my pre-separation brief on in Mar March 2nd, and then I have like taps on, what is it, uh, May. I was supposed to do taps in March, but due to miscommunication, that was not the case i was scheduled for i'm now scheduled for may i really would like to do skill bridge i'm praying that i'm able to do skill bridge because guys like i have so much that i want to like really like let you guys know y'all know you guys gotta be you gotta keep 
your bearing when you're wearing that uniform you know what i mean and obviously i'm not wearing it right now but even when you're not wearing it you're wearing it so i'm really excited though to start this new journey i know a lot of people like they'll message me and ask me if i you know what i mean like regret joining the military or if you know what i mean what i uh, recommend joining and honestly i feel like the military was an extremely huge stepping stone for me i feel like it got me where i needed to it did what i i what i joined for which is to get my education you guys I, I think i talked to you guys about this in my past videos but i y'all know i got my real estate license so i'm a provisional broker at costello real estate and investment so if you guys have any real estate needs then definitely reach out to me um i will post all of my contact information in the description um, it's in north carolina uh we also have brokerages in south carolina or a brokerage in south carolina as well so if you guys are interested in just let me know I'll, I'll make sure that you get the help that you need and get you situated but also in school for my appraisal license as you guys know there's not a lot of people that look like me in that industry um so my goal is kind of like bridge the gap i know that i can't do it uh by myself but at least it's making some progression towards that and i don't want to be like you know what i mean one of those people that point out like the obvious but like there's not a lot of young i'm 25 years old african-american women in the appraisal industry so i think that is gonna one of my barriers is gonna be trying to find someone that is willing to teach me so i'm i'm in school for it right now like i'm taking my courses but you also have to have like hands-on training so in order to do that you have to find you like a, a i would be considered like a trainee but there's like an instructor or i guess it, I, I forget what the actual name is but you have to find someone that already has their license that is capable of teaching you and a lot of times other appraisers they don't want to teach people because they're going to be their competition it's kind of like what are you offering me that's gonna benefit me to teach you you know what i mean because once people get their appraisal license usually they'll just go ahead and just go about their business like they don't even hopefully i can find like a good like trainer instructor to help me throughout that process because you know i really do want to you know what i mean be the change type of deal situation type deal you feel me uh also i'm in school for my master's degree i'm studying at north carolina central university i plan to be extremely like <laughs> i plan to be extremely um involved within the north carolina central community and the surrounding areas so i'm looking for some volunteer opportunities up there now my goal is to really like meet someone new in the state of north carolina more specifically charlotte i'm open to meeting like people all over the state um but i want to meet somebody new every single day so i'm going to be working towards that starting as soon as i touch down at this brokerage today so you know what i mean like just asking someone like asking people questions asking them, like what their name is and stuff you know i do need to give me like some business cards and things like that because But I guess not really. Like, I guess it's probably easier just to go ahead and spark a conversation with people and just be, like, friendly and not... You shouldn't... I don't feel like... I don't like when people impose business on me, like, as soon as possible. So, I feel like you should, like, genuinely get to know the person and then talk business. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I still got a little bit of a drive, though. I'm just tired, guys. Like, I really just want to lay down just for, like, a second, like, and just be in my own space, you know what I mean? And I'm extremely thankful for the people that are surrounded, I'm surrounded with, because they've been um, very supportive, and I know that this process would be a lot harder if I didn't have them. So, plan to definitely give back once I can get settled, because the people around me definitely deserve it. And I want to show them that I appreciate them. So, now, uh, yeah. I don't know what else to talk to you guys about right now, at least. Uh, I guess I could 
probably check back in with you guys after I meet with my broker. I can make a part two of this video, so just I'm gonna do um, some vlogs throughout this process and stuff. And so this will be vlog number one, basically like documenting my story, documenting my journey because at this point, uh, my life is really like a movie, and I need to be able to share it with you guys. And since my memory is bad, what better way to do that than to record it? <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every single one of you. Please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. If you want to join this journey with me if you guys are from north carolina or if you live in north carolina reach out to me because like you said like i said i want to meet new people every day so i would appreciate you know what i mean meeting you guys i'll be thankful to meet you guys so all right i'm gonna check back in with you guys after i meet with my broker so stay tuned for the next video